it takes the light worker then. This is light does not mean white. Light does not mean black. Light means the full spectrum. So the light worker can go in and you go and you give mom or dad a massage. And during that massage, you actually feel for the points of where the damage is. And then you can visually move that out of the body, especially through the feet and through different areas. This is just intuition that you need to use. And so that's one of the things that I'm going to bring forth today for those who know who I'm talking to. But that's if you're looking for these entrance points for a different part of the sphere. Now, if you just don't happen to not have a mom or dad anymore, maybe they've left. You tend to have some kind of resonator in this world that resonates that. Because you always leave those portals open. But I was just where all this is coming from is that, man, if you're good, do something good, damn it. Meaning that I see these people, they just sit around and talk all day, but they will not go outside and spend at least maybe one day in one of these children's homes of these challenged children. See, those are the alms. Those are the works. Those are the deeds. And it's through that that you get more in touch with yourself because you give yourself another fuel, if you may, to begin to exist off of. And listen to what I'm saying. Like you find a lot of people who they they hate the system. You know, they know everything about it from flat earth all the way back down to to uh, the Egyptian hieroglyphs to whatever. But they do that from their house. They never put in the basic work. That it's that resonates that, hey, I'm actually really if it's piece by piece that I must build this pyramid, bring me the first brick and then I'll keep laying these bricks. It's like the real work, because when you do the real work, when you go into the action, there's a fuel because there's no action without a reaction. Right. So what is the reaction? The reaction is an actual element or a substance. This is a law. This is a cosmic law and that element or substance, the body takes in and it puts itself on a different system beside take, 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 take or talk, 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 talk. And because those fuels are all minor fuels compared to alms. And when you've given something, you know, like I was even the other day, you know, I have a 3D printer. I found an arm that you can 3D print that's prosthetics that kids are getting and, and they can kids that have no arm can use this prosthetic and it changes their lives. I could print these things night and day and put them together and donate a whole box of them. See, it's just it's what you do, because, see, this is not about someone else in the sky with a notepad, keeping a notation of what you did good and what you did bad. This has nothing to do with that. This has to do with you in understanding in your points in your life, the actions that you made. See, because sometimes you'll notice the body is like, well, you know, I don't need to get out there. I'm not. It's lazy and it's sluggish. <laughs> you see, like when it comes time, that's that's what I call the goat part of the body. Even if I say you need to submit, the goat will kick in right away and say, no, I don't submit. Even if I was to conclude that situ- sentence with you need to submit to yourself, because only in that stage will you find total relaxation. So remember, there is a goat side of our consciousness that is stubborn. And that goat side says, hey, well, you know, there's there could I mean, it's not going to change anything. (laughs) Well, it's what is anything you're only looking to change yourself. (laughs) And through that, the entire cosmic force will come in line with you and you will remove yourself from the illusion. You see what I'm getting to here? If things have not changed, it's because if you're soaked in the illusion, you have to get more into the cosmos and that's how you exist beyond this now i'll tell you what's beyond because see the big part of the illusion is that it generates light for you so that you don't have to generate light and this is what people experience when they die the lights start getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and then when that happens they start seeing this very dank sticky nasty infested part of It's basically called the underworld. I mean, it's a real thing. It does exist. And some people actually come from the underworld below. Behold, we saw the ladder going up and down. That means that there are some coming from the center of Earth, which is the ancestors know as the underworld. This is the white hole or the black hole. And there's those coming from the top and their experiences are different because of where they've come from. So. That's how you get into this is you start realizing you identify where these spaces are. And 
what it's like to deal with those spaces. And what I found is, is that the ultimate um, panacea, if you need the cure all for exp- for these experiences is to be able to generate your own light. So then you can't be pulled down into the darkness without actually being in there with your light. So you're not afraid to go into the darkness as long as you have your own light. But if you don't have a own, your own light, then all these phantoms, and this is the subconscious mind, all the phantoms, the ignorance, everything that corresponds to darkness starts to shroud you. And you can feel it on a frequency level. So these people who are on the brink of death, this is what they experience. And because they haven't been cultivating their own light, because you'll notice that when you start to practice the technique, and this is just a visualization, you'll start to notice in the breathing when you're especially in like semi darkness, you'll see a light to your left. You can't look directly at it, especially on that frequency, but you could start to see that there's a glowing or light behind you. And then you start realizing that there are many with you. Like everything is with you. Your entire biorhythm is with you now and will assist you through your process. So again, this is advanced techniques, but still necessary nonetheless in order to pierce your way through this like they call it the snow piercer you know in this tense you need to pierce the darkness with your own light so some more pointers putting the toxins in your body now these toxins i've found mostly reside within the shampoos and within the colognes because you can't even put some of this stuff in your eye without even going blind. So what happens when you put it on your body, when you put it on your skin, your skin is the largest organ in your body. And then you put it on your skin, your skin drinks it, and then it gets into your body and it poisons you because it accumulates in certain parts of the body and it forms a cyst. These cysts then become the cancer cells. So if you can't really eat it, You need to actually gauge how much of this stuff you actually put on your skin because you're drinking it right away. Okay, so ask yourself, can a tree grow from cologne water? (laughs) You know, you put some Jacar on or some some uh, 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 some Elizabeth Taylor and you put that in the water and you pour it into a tree. What's going to happen to the tree? The same thing that's happening to you. Okay, and remember, different parts of us die. So that has a lot to do with how we think, how we feel, what we can tap into. That part could already be dead. That's what we're talking about. The small brain, the small organs that, you know, are calcified. These are parts that are already dead. But it doesn't mean that you won't be still walking around and thinking, etc. So pay attention to that. And then also remember when you're dealing with yourself that everything is bipolar. What that means is that your mom and your dad, the negative and the positive came together and created you and, and so on and so forth. And there's all these different opposing forces that are put together to create us. So that makes us bipolar. So understand how to deal with your bipolarism, because that can oftentimes be the main uh, uh, effects. Those are the main effects that many of us deal with from day to day, you know, with the cosmos and the vault moving especially without us being knowledgeable about how it's turning. Some days you get up and you don't feel like it. And let me explain to you what a lot of that is attached to. It's attached to the order, the order that you've created for yourself. And, and so when something happens in your life, let's say you lose a loved one or you go through some kind of trauma, then there's a mark at that point from that trauma and it will have an anniversary. So let's say on January the 15th of, of uh, 1995, you had this scenario. Even the world goes through that. Even the, the Twin Towers, these kind of things become marks. And then so right around those times, we start to feel, and we're not keeping any kind of detailed uh, diaries or anything about our experiences, so we don't know what's going on. You don't know that it could be the day that you lost your great-grandmother and how you felt that day, or you lost your, your dog, Chabunky, or, you know, whatever the case may be. And then here it comes around, and then you're waking up, you don't feel well. You even can feel physical pains and not even know what they're associated with because you just don't have this context, this orbit this cosmic blueprint of hey 10 years ago on this same day i experienced this because it will come back around in the orbit less and less each time so just remember that that that's why our ancestors spent so much time dealing with the cosmos to take themselves off of these internal rudimentary systems and to put themselves on something greater and higher that it was predictable 
See, some people say, well, you know, I want to look into the future. Well, that's the that's the only way. But you need to understand the laws and the rules and the order and the correspondence to the cosmos. Just as, as, as the sun is in the sky and every single day, you need to know what time is to get up. So if people tell you, well, oh, you're following something that has no truth to it, then tell them, well, what happens if you get up? If what happens if the sun rises and you don't get up? You're probably going to get fired. So you're looking at the power right there. So this is, you know, how you thwart this antithesis, which exists within everything. Someone will come and tell you this is the wrong way to do things. This is how the language is designed. It can always be flipped. It's a forked tongue language. So it could be flipped and turned against you to make you look like a hypocrite about what you believe and what you know to be the truth. So be on guard. And the last thing is, is that, well, one of the last things is, see, the another one of the major errors is actually looking through the ancients. Uh, uh, knowledge itself by examining whoever is the leader. Like, for instance, now when people study Egypt, they study the pharaohs. But how many people were there versus the pharaoh? And did the people live the same life as the pharaoh did? Of course not. This would be like us studying the Queen of England in order to figure out how people in Britain live their lives. It's like, how many people in England live on the same level as the Queen of England? This is kind of no brainer. So what should be studied is the daily life and the functioning of the people. Not so much as us always running to this head leader or the, the ruler or the king and trying to figure out what they're doing. Because they're always going to be doing something, mainly what the one the one that creates the false one is doing versus what the populace have been tapped into and how they're living. And especially be, um, before or excuse me, especially during the times when the ancient knowledge had been corrupted and many of the leaders had begun to take on the path of that that whole idea uh, of being the leaders of people, et cetera, et cetera, rather than being in service of the people. Last one of the last things here I, I need to bring forth and we won't actually have time for questions during this conversation, but that's fine. That gives us more shows to have in the future is. Remember that when someone has a degree, all right, like a doctor's degree, you need to understand that that term is synonymous with why there's 360 degrees in a circle. So if, we, if a person has a master's degree, this means they have about three degrees on something that has 360 degrees. So where is that other 357 degrees? That's about how much they know. Just that three degrees. And because the world teaches in degrees, this system we're in now, most of these people, if not almost all of them, don't have a whole understanding of anything. They only have their degree, their little two or three degrees or five degrees of knowledge. They don't have the whole piece. Right. The whole thing. That's what we're looking for. So just remember that you can have this mathematician that's got this master's degree. And he still can't stack up or she can, still can't stack up to a farmer. The farmer that knows everything about the animals and when to plant and when to reap. See, the mathematician will sit you at the table and talk to you all night about mathematic equations and things that basically make your head hurt. And be doing that while they're eating the farmer's food because it's only the farmer's food that everyone needs to sustain themselves. So don't get caught up into this false idea of knowledge is what I'm saying. Everyone is good at something like I may not dive off cliffs and get rewards for cliff diving, but I definitely dive deep into my soul. And I've been in about 80 or 90 times and trying to discover what's going on while that same cliff diver will not take one puff or drink one cup. So understand that we all have our power in our specialty. And just because it's not something that the illusion dictates as being uh, a, a authority. Oh, you got a doctor in front of me. Oh, doctor. Oh, doctor. You got four degrees. <laughs> Where's your other three hundred and fifty uh, uh, six degrees then? <laughs> so stay motivated. Keep enduring. And you will finish this race and you will begin something that is cosmic.
because that's what is outside of this egg. And don't abort. Don't let them abort you. Realize what's real and what's the illusion and how much of your consciousness is illusionary and begin to fill it with the truth. And you can find that in nature. You can find that in the cosmos. You can find that in the minerals. You can find that in the elements and their process because that's the real law and order.